All right, for the standing dumbbell curl, probably one of the more common movements that you've seen and experienced, but you're gonna stand up nice and tall, shoulders down and back, abs engaged, glutes engaged, quads engaged, and then arms down at your side, palms facing forward. You're gonna curl up as high as, as your elbows will let you in that functional range of motion, and then come, let it all the way back down. Nice controlled movements the entire time. So to regress the standing dumbbell curl, Fairly simple, first thing you do is drop the weight. If you don't have another weight, right, then you can do this without a dumbbell. It just seems a little bit weird uh, to do it without a dumbbell. Just make sure that you're engaging your biceps when you're coming up in that position. The next thing that you can do if you still need to regress and you can't drop the load or you don't wanna drop the load, then you could just do less, right? Don't go as far up, don't go as far down. And then the last thing that you could do if you still need to regress is slow the movement down. The first thing that we're gonna do is keep that quality movement and increase the speed. Go as fast as you possibly can while still having quality movement and still having control of the movement. Once you've done that, you can't really increase the distance if you're going your full range of motion. So then the next step would be to increase the weight.